वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रशांत पाटिल जैन कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बेलगामी प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल गिव द कमेंट्स एंड आल्सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू हिट द लाइक बटन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कसिंग ऑन इनवर्स लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म Convolution, convolution definition, convolution theorem for Laplace transforms, and some examples on convolution. How to verify the convolution theorem? Now, convolution means what? First, the convolution of two functions f of t and g of t is denoted by f of t asterisk g of t. It is nothing but one of the operator, similar to one of the operator, and that operator I am using as an asterisk. And we are denoting it, uh, calling it as by convolution. F of t convolution. We read it as a f of t convolution g of t is defined to be integration from zero to t f of u into g of t minus u du. This integration of two functions is known as a convolution. Okay, very important one. This convolution is holds good in. Uh, almost all the transformations integral transformations okay here f of t convolution g of t is equal to integration from 0 to t f of u g of t minus u and its uh, commutative property also holds good for this one we can prove that but i am skipping the proof here f of t convolution g of t also equal to g of t convolution f of t that is its integration is integration from 0 to t f of u g of t minus u du also i can write it as integration from 0 to t f of g of u into f of t minus u then after integration i am going to get it as a function of t only okay using this let me define the convolution theorem now the convolution theorem for laplace transform here if laplace transform of f of t is equal to capital f of s And Laplace transform of g of t equal to capital G of s. Then Laplace transform of f of t into Laplace transform of g of t is equal to Laplace transform of convolution of two functions f of t. asterisk g of t okay this is one form of the laplace transform now here for our convenience this is convolution theorem okay for our convenience i will a uh, little bit modify in this convolution theorem as laplace transform f of t is the word capital f of s okay and laplace transform of g of t is capital g of s Equal to Laplace transform of f of t as this g of t convolution of f of t. Therefore, applying inverse Laplace transform on this both side or taking this inverse Laplace on both this one that will become which implies inverse Laplace transform of f of s into g of s is equal to f of t convolution g of let me remember this formula for convolution theorem okay whenever function two fun, uh, signal functions are multiplied and their inverse laplace transform can be calculated using the convolution okay this is nothing but a, this is convolution of two functions that is defined previously okay that is equal to i can write integration from 0 to t f of t Into g sorry f of u into f of u into g of t minus u into du. Okay, this using this I can find the convol uh, inverse Laplace transform of product of two functions. Okay, like this examples I am going to okay. solve here. Verify convolution theorem for the functions f of t equal to t and g of t equal to e to the power t. Here. let me state first convolution theorem that is 
लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी इंटू लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ जी ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी कन्वोल्यूशन जी ऑफ टी दिस वन टू वेरीफाई दैट्स वाई एल एच एस आई विल फाइंड आउट फर्स्ट देन आर एच एस ओके नाउ लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी फर्स्ट That is Laplace transform of f of t is t. Laplace transform of t is nothing but one divided by s square. Like that, Laplace transform of g of t is equal to Laplace transform of e to the power t. E to the power t is nothing but one divided by s minus one. Therefore, L H S will become Laplace transform of f of t into Laplace transform of g of t will become one divided by s square into s minus one. This is my LHS. Same thing I have to prove for RHS. F of t is a g of t. Let me find out convolution first. F of t convolution g of t is given by integration from 0 to t f of t minus u into g of u du okay my function is here integration from 0 to t f of t minus u my f of t is t therefore t is replaced by t minus u t minus u into g of u when g of u is e to the power t f of t g of t is e to the power and t g of into g of, g of u g of t is nothing but e to the power t therefore e to the power u integrating with respect to u i am going to get a t minus u into e to the power u minus differentiation of this 0 minus of minus 1 e to the power u integration between 0 to u upper limit minus lower limit upper limit i am substituting t is replaced by u t minus u t minus t into e to the power t plus e to the power t minus lower limit 0 t minus 0 e to the power 0 this one therefore i am going to get it as a, this terms become 0 e to the power t e to the power t minus t plus 1 e to the power 0 is a 1 this is my convolution its Laplace transform must be equal to LHS. Okay, next I am going to find out here. Now, f of t convolution g of t I have calculated. That is e to the power t minus t minus 1. Okay, now RHS is equal to Laplace transform of f of t convolution g of t that is laplace transform of e to the power t minus t minus 1 laplace transform of e to the power t is 1 divided by s minus 1 laplace transform of t is 1 by s square minus laplace transform of 1 is 1 by s and taking the lcm as s square into s minus 1 Therefore, here s square is not missing, s square minus, here s minus 1 is missing, and here s into 1 s is missing, s into s minus 1. Simplifying this, I am going to get s square minus s plus 1 minus s square minus of minus plus s, whole divided by s square into s minus 1 s square s square cancels plus s minus s cancels that is i am going to get it as a 1 divided by s square into s minus 1 this is a my rhs okay both lhs and rhs are same okay like my next problem is verify convolution theorem for f of t equal to e to the power t and g of t equal to sin t let me find out first laplace transform of f of t that is the Laplace transform of e to the power t is given by 1 divided by s minus 1 like that 
लैप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ जी ऑफ टी लैप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ साइन टी इज वन डिवाइडेड बाय एस स्क्वायर प्लस वन देर फॉर एल एच एस ऑफ लैप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म कन्वल्शन थेरम इज लैप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी इंटू लैप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ जी ऑफ टी विच इज इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बाय एस माइनस वन इंटू एस स्क्वायर प्लस वन ओके लाइक दैट टू फाइंड आउट आर एच एस ऑफ द कन्वल्यूशन थेरम फर्स्ट लेट मी फाइंड कन्वल्यूशन एफ ऑफ टी कन्वल्यूशन जी ऑफ टी दट इज इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू टी e to the power sorry f of t minus f of t minus u into g of u du okay integration from zero to t f of t minus u my f of t is e to the power t therefore e to the power t minus u g of u g of t is a sine t therefore g of u will become sine u du this one i have to integrate and here i am integrating with respect to u therefore e to the power minus t i can take outside i can write e to the power t integration from 0 to t 0 to t e to the power minus u into sin u du okay this one i have to integrate with respect to u and its integration to integrate that you have to remember this formula again that is e to the integration of e to the power ax into sin bx dx that is e to the power ax divided by a square plus b square into bracket a sin bx minus b cos bx okay here a is equal to minus 1 and b equal to 1 therefore e to the power minus u divided by Minus one square plus one square into minus one into sine u minus one into cos u between the limits between the limits zero to t u equal to t I have to substitute simplify upper limit minus lower limit t okay now here upper limit e to the power T divided by one square is one. Therefore, it will come two. And already e to the power t is also there outside. Okay, one more e to the power t into uh, u equal to t. That is minus sine u minus sine t minus cos t. Okay, into minus lower limit e to the power zero is one divided by Two divided by two into sine zero is zero minus cos zero is one. Okay, this one by two I can take outside and I can write e to the power t divided by two into into minus also I can take common minus e to the power t into sine t plus cos t plus one. okay and i can multiply this inside so that i can find out easily the laplace transform okay i will write it as here e to the power minus here therefore e to the power minus multiplying inside e to the power t e to the power minus t1 therefore minus 1 by 2 into sin t plus cos t plus e to the power t divided by 2 its laplace transform i have to find out for the rhs therefore rhs of convolution theorem is nothing but laplace transform of f of t convolution g of t therefore laplace transform of this one that is two outside and i can write this one as e to the power t minus sin t minus cos t That one by two I will take outside. Its inverse Laplace transform must be equal to uh, this one. One divided by s minus one into s square plus one. Here, which is equal to 
1 by 2 times Laplace transform of e to the power t 1 divided by s minus 1 Laplace transform of sin t 1 divided by s square plus 1 minus Laplace transform of cos t is s divided by s square plus 1 take LCM and simplify I should get same LCM is s minus 1 into s square plus 1 therefore here s square plus 1 minus here s minus 1 minus s into s square or s minus 1 simplify this let me check what I am going to get 1 by 2 times 1 by 2 times denominator is same s minus 1 into s square plus 1 numerator s square plus 1 minus s minus 1 minus s square minus of minus here plus therefore minus s plus s cancels 1 plus 1 2 divided by 2 which is equal to 1 divided by s minus 1 into s square plus 1 this is my rhs okay this some more examples on convolution i am going to do please subscribe my channel view the comments and also don't forget to hit the like button thank you friends